I, I would like to talk more about art being an act of faith. Mm -hmm. um, because it really did lead me in my vocation and, and my relationship with God. And I really attribute it as an act of faith. I, I consider certain parts of Scripture, especially with the, the part of Scripture where the master is going away and he leaves three of his servants, each different amounts of money. And uh, I look at that as actually in some ways the beginning of, of an act of creation or the possibility of it. Uh, is there the willingness of it? By that I mean, here you have a servant who's going away. To one he gives one, to another he gives, I believe, two, to another he gives four. And when he comes back, the one who had four doubled it, the other one, each one doubled it, but the only one who didn't double it was the one who decided to do nothing. And he just, or he did, no, he did. He buried it. In fact, he did do something. He buried it. And I guess what I'm amazed at is I compare that story to creation of art because you have to be willing to destroy something. You have to be willing to lose. And I think when you are making art, it is intimidating because you already have something perfect in front of you that you have to be willing to discard and destroy for your vision. And you have to believe that that vision is going to be better than what already is there. And the one servant who decided to bury it, he didn't believe his vision was going to be better than what was already there. And I really enjoy that with God is asking us, take a chance, take a risk. You know, don't be afraid of looking like a fool. And artists, I think it's one thing, artists hate failure. We don't want to look like fools. But I think the only way to make a really something that's going to be, they can classify as a work of art, you have to put it all on the line. You have to be willing to look like a fool. Um, and, and to get that, that we long for, you know. Um, so, yeah, be willing to destroy. Be willing to go ahead uh, and, and fail at that thing and not being able to get like a, you have to put it all on the line. And I do believe that that, that mere act of putting it on the line, that's what God sees as the, the doubling of it. You know, I think the very act of success, he doesn't, God doesn't give a crap of how much money you have or anything like that. He wants to know, it's like, how much did you take a chance? How much were you willing to face those kinds of fears for something that you would love? You know, you don't, don't be in love with the coin itself. It's there for a purpose. And I think he wants us to have that attitude with life. And that's why I think art, creating of art is uh, what monasticism is all about. But instead of like making a work of art from a piece of paper and paper uh, with, with paint or pens or pencils, it's our lives that are meant to be a, a work of art. We are supposed to put our heart into what we do, but each and every day, the prayer of it, the singing the prayer, the reading the prayer. And when you fail, you get up again and you go. And one of the things I appreciate about Benedictinism um, with, with monasticism uh, is that it's, it's not just you on a, on a journey by yourself. It's a collaboration. And it's really fascinating. That that's the best part of it as well as the worst part of it.